Really happy with the drive. Yes, I'm not in the sea. Second shot was nice. I'm three under through five. Yes! Hardest hole on the course now. Green's up there. Obviously can't go left. Good thing into wind, I'm not reaching them traps off the right today, so... Yeah, we can play it up the right half of the fairway here. Oh, right. Hopefully it doesn't reach the traps. I said I couldn't reach them. I don't know if it's reached it. I hit it good. Again, a little safe. To be fair, it's gone where I've aimed it. Maybe five yards right of where I've aimed it. I can't fault that really because you've got to hit driver because it's straight into wind and it's a long hole, you know, it's... Let me get the card a sec. 4.13, straight into wind. I mean, it's probably, it's got to be playing. You see how far my two I went on the last, went like 200 yards. It's got to be playing like 480 in this temperature and this wind. So you've got to hit driver and it can't go left. So where I've actually hit it, I've committed to it and I've made a good swing. So you know what, if it's in the bunker, it's in the bunker. This is always the worst bit in it. You know, when you're walking up towards the bunker and you're looking, see if you can see your ball and you can't see it and you're thinking, oh, but feeling your stomach, like, oh, don't appear in the sand. And then you say, yes, I'm not in the bunker. Another overreaction, obviously. Yes. Told you I couldn't reach him, well planned out. Well, oh, a bit of mud on the ball. A bit of mud. The old muddy job. It does affect flight, that. But I have no idea on, like, people say if it's on the front right, it spins right, or I have no idea. I just have to hit the shot as good as I can, and if it flies off, there's nothing I can do about it. At least you have something to blame it on. 176. Very back pin though, so got six iron. Expecting it to jump a little bit out the rough. But I can commit to it, I know I can hit this full. And we've got a little backstop if it does go long. The mud, mud, sit, sit, sit. I think it's out of bounds. <sighs> Made a good swing there. It's gone left and absolutely flown. Oh, you are joking. I made a good swing. It's just whip left, mud on the ball. Told you, I... Right, provisional. Knee draw. Oh. Right, focus, refocus, doesn't matter. Can't do anything about it. That looks good though. Come on, come on. Yeah, that's that's a nice, that's very good recovery. Well done, Al. I'm proud of myself there. You know what, I can't do anything about that because I could guard against that left side, but there's OB right as well, and the amount that's turned with the mud on the ball, it could have done the same the other way. Right, that mud was on the right side of the ball, so does that mean it turns left? I don't know if there's any consistency to it or not, but it was very important to reset, stand up, reset, and hit a good shot with the next one and give myself a chance for a bogey if the first one is OB, which, to be honest with you, I think it is. Which is disappointing, isn't it? When you've been playing nice. Well, scoring nice, again, not playing amazing, but scoring nice. No, the only chance was if it, if it hit the fence, but I'm pretty sure I heard it hit hedge as well anyway, so. That's disappointing. We've got that for bogey. Just 
focus on the pot, not the disappointment, Al. I'm not disappointed. Ah, oh, it broke, it broke. It's a good putt. I haven't hit a bad shot there. And I've made six. I haven't hit a bad shot. That's golf, in it? That, that, that is golf, that right there. That is why this is the best slash worst game in the world. I hit a bad shot before on a par four on the third and I made birdie. And I haven't hit a bad shot there and I've made double. Back to one under. Par five, back on it. We've turned now, so we're downwind now. Par five. Pick your target. I said before, you, again, same thing, you can't go left, but let's focus where I want to hit it. I want to hit it up the right side of the fairway. Stay in the fairway then. Okay. Might be right semi, but it's oh pink tea. My mum uses them. Just right semi, but it look there's like loads of room right. Left. Not so much. 260 pin. Wind's out the left. I'm being aggressive. Sat down a little bit, but we're on an upslope, so I don't think we'll have any problem getting club on ball. Now the wind's quite strong out the left so I'm gonna aim at those palm trees up on the left palm trees who has palm trees on the Wirral fir trees up the left just commit to it the wind will move it back if it doesn't move it back there's loads of room there there's a pond short right by the way that's why I'm aiming up the left oh sit down sit down that's come out so fast sit Oh, might be good. Stayed a little bit up the left, but it was a very nice strike, but it come out fast, that little upslope. Good news. I thought it come out really fast, but it didn't. It's on the green. See him on the left there. It is stronger character of me than sometimes I'd have just spread it after it out of bounds on the last. I'd have thrown another ball down, hit it without thinking, fuming. Stood on this tee, tried to absolutely smash it. It's just made double, but maybe hooked out of bounds. And that's when you're round really just like snowballs out of control. But I kept my head better because of positive owls there, any. And now I've got a chance for Eagle to get that double straight back, which is wonderful. That little tree there looks like Pebble Beach. Move, move, move. Didn't move enough. Not a bad putt that, really. That's a nice, that's a nice four. Well, how many holes we played? Seven. That gets back to two under. So that's, yeah, that's not bad that. That's the start of a new three hole series as well, wasn't it? it mental three hole series, remember? So the first three holes, I was two under four. The next three holes, I was actually one over four because of the the double job. And then the start of the next one, I'm one under four. So that's two under overall. Par three, 148, straight downwind. There's a bunker long, so I'm hitting wedge because I know I can play it aggressively and it really shouldn't go long in this sort of temperature, so I can hit a hard wedge straight at it. I'm feeling, I'm feeling hole in one on camera. That's what, that's what I'm feeling.
It's not a hole in one. It's definitely not a hole in one. Go. That was very much like a what would people, a commentator, would call it a green light flag. I wouldn't call it that, but that's what commentators would call it. Very much a green light flag. But a little bit weak and right. You might have got that to my bad shot, really. It's on the green, it's safe, but just not my best. With a wedge in my hand. Oh, walk. Don't walk! I walked. Thought I had that. Pa. Still shut up. Still two under. There's a hole where I, I struggle to see the shot because you're hitting over trees up the right because the hole goes round to the right. And I find it difficult to really pick a point. And I think that's the most important thing hitting any shot is that you pick a target. And I just don't know the target. I don't play here often enough to know the target, so I'm hitting three wood and I'm going very left edge of this this little bush in front of me. Basically, I know I can reach it. Anyway, it's not you know, the hole like 400. So I was looking for the market then. Hole's like 400, so hold on. The hole's 430, but it's downwind at the left. So I feel three wood, very edge of that little hedge and it'll drift, just drift up the right and it say it's like that's the way the fairway goes so I just know I can commit to this more and I know my target See the little pine thing pop up? It's good, that norm, that, that. I was very aware of that little pine straw pop up when I took the club away. That could very easily put me off that. I get put off very easy by stuff like that. But it's actually hit a decent shot. Look. Is it good if you're a pro? And you've got sky marks on your three wood? Is that a good sign? From a long time ago then. They were from like negative Al days then. Positive Al doesn't sky it. Moorhen, hello. Massive feet for such a small bird, Moorhens. Massive feet. That's where our three would finish. Good angle for that back right pin. 142. That pin is on the right, like tucked right on the right side. I think it slopes off. It's a new green this. I think there's a little slope off on the right, so we're going to play it just a couple of yards left of that pin. 142, downwind, I've got my 50 degree wedge. Again, I know I can just be aggressive with this. No, that is not aggressive. That's the worst swing I've made today. That really is the worst swing I've made today. Again, weak right. That's terrible, terrible, terrible. That's when I get annoyed, when it's avoidable. Like the one before that went left because I had mud on my ball. Picked the shot and I played it. And I thought I played it well and you know, that's all they can do. But that one, that is completely avoidable. And I can't afford them in a round of golf, those avoidable mistakes where you can... You see, you're going to make enough mistakes just because golf does it to you, but when you make extra mistakes because you've got in your own way, or you've not gone through the process you meant to go through. Unforgivable. Unforgivable's a bit extreme, innit? No one's going to, like, punish me, but... Punish myself, I think I'm in a bunker. Oh, I am short right bunker. That's terrible. Look, look, what a shot that is with a 50 degree wedge. I know you can't see the ball here because of the lip, but it's a little bit of a down slope. I went on a down slope. Last thing I want to do is be too shallow with it because I'm going to blade it. 
and I don't want to bleed it. So I'm going to make sure my weight is more left-sided so that it can be a little bit steeper and making sure I can still get strike on the ball. It's not, you know, it's not terrible, but just that slight down slope, you're going to need it to be marginally out to cost you. So weight's going to be more left side and make sure I keep it left side so I'm just that bit steeper. Go, go, go. Bit short. How does that not break though? Why does that not break? A mental lapse has cost me there. Look at my hair. Look at that. A mental lapse has cost me on my second shot. It wasn't the bunker shot that cost me. It wasn't the putt. The putt was good. The bunker shot was pretty good. It was that stupid second shot. It's not the easiest of days, but just feel that that sort of thing is avoidable. Nice par three now, straight into a gale. So yeah, good. We are two under three, three, two under three, four. Nice. Three under three, five. Yes, nice. That, na what? Huh? No. Positive, 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 Al. Birdie back on it. Yes, nice, solid, par, nice. What? What? 35, one under. Positive. Holes up there. Right at the back. And as you can see, I'm basically stood in a bush, so the tee couldn't be further back if it tried. 203, straight into a wind that's blowing a wind chill factor of about minus seven. You know what? I don't think I can get four iron there. 200 yards. It's normally like a six iron. But I, I'm going to hit a two iron because I haven't got a three iron. And a four iron I don't think I can get there. Two, yeah, I can get four iron there. It's 203. It's a very back pin. So I don't need it at 203. If it's at 190, it's middle of the green. I'm going to play, try and play the slightest draw here, which is just going to keep the spin off it. It's going to keep it down a little bit more, stop it ballooning. A little bit stronger in the left hand, meaning little draw, a little bit stronger in the left hand, and then just swing it normal. Help me release it, should get the little draw. Lovely strike, it got the draw. I think it's clung onto the back left. It's actually gone a little long, flag's there. Didn't need to get that extra draw out of it really, but out of the wet, soggy lie, I don't fancy playing a 58 and trying to land it on. I'm gonna try and try to play it as low as I can up that bank. All I'm looking for here, when I've chosen my club, I've got seven iron here. All I'm looking for is something that's just gonna carry from there that can carry this rough. As soon as it gets on here, it's not as wet, it kind of plays like a green, so it's just like, like a little lofted putt. And I'll play it like a putt. Hands quite high, toe down, literally like a putting stroke. Pulled it a bit. I think I like come over the top of that. Like that way. Up and down. I feel like that's important after bogeying the last. I think it's important to, that I got that up and down. Actually, because the light, it was a bit wet, but it was a decent life. It was sat down. That would have been horrible. The short puts as well. You know, like the little one I had. I know I left the flag in there. Not just for camera benefit, really. But it's important to still go through your routine on those. And one focus I would have on the short put, have your practice stroke, stand over the ball, you pick your line, everything that's lined up. Empty your mind, your only focus is just 
your head doesn't move. It's like you're having a competition with yourself of how still you can keep your head even after you've hit it. My head probably moved after I've hit that to be fair, but yeah, that's a good sort of process to make sure you don't come out of the putt. Because those ones you're like eager to hold, like you expect to hold them. And expectation in golf just means you make bad swings and make bad putting strokes. So yeah, that's what I would say with those short ones. Right, we've got one hole to go, par five. What are we, one under? 520 straight into cold. This would take two of my absolute best. The line changes here, so sort of normally I try and take it over the right corner, there's no chance today. So I'm going at that like greeny brown tree up the left. Literally no idea. It's all right, right semi. We've got 260 in. I've got three wood because as far as I can remember that the only bunkers are like green side. And if I absolutely bullet one, it comes out with no spin, maybe I can get there, but it's unlikely in this. So if I can get this within sort of 25, 30 yards of the green, then it gives me that. If I've only got it to within that 65, range it'd be worth laying up shorter so I've got like maybe 90 85 yards in but this is one of those where I'm trying to get it as close as I can to the green no that won't be close to the green that's come out dead it's fine but that's no no, absolutely not, no. No, 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 no. This light's weird. I feel like I'm rushing a bit because I need to get in before it is pitch black. You'll see the quality on the camera now has gone not great because it has to increase the ISO to create kind of like a false light. I've been reading up on my camera, haven't I? That wasn't a great shot. See, that tells you how dark it is now. Here, that way. It's light now. It's dark now. I'm gonna have that 60 yards in, aren't I? Sit. Oh, chance. Yeah, I had 61 yards, didn't I? This four, this four, two under for the 11. But it'd be for five birdies, which is kind of what I'm after. Go. Move, 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 move. Oh, hit it, hit it. Last hole, hit it. That's disappointing. That is disappointing. That is disappointing, that. That is disappointing, that. That is very disappointing, that. It's not that disappointing. You know what, it's tough. It's windy, it's cold. My hair's all over the shop. Oh, there's a cat, there's a cat. Right, there's a cat. Last hole, wildlife, look. Stay there, stay there, cat. See it? Look at it, cat. Stay there, come on, let's try and get you on camera. Just wait there. Just wait there, just wait there. No, wait. Stop it, stop prowling. Just wait there. Just hello. What are you looking at? What are you looking at? What are you looking at? Stay, hello. Hello. Hello, cat. You're lovely, aren't you? Oh, no. Are you in, do you want to say hello? Just say hello. No, I don't want to force you onto the car park. You just stay there. Not much wildlife today. Look how dark it is. Uh, and we finished the 11 holes. One under. As an overall, one under's not not bad, really, through 11. It's not my best. I didn't play my best golf. I hit a few poor shots, and it one that really annoyed me because it's mentally poor, but... Four birdies through 11. It's just after five holes when you're three under, three five, you kind of think, hold on, you know, this could be pretty good, and then 
and he had to play the six which was in two and the other ones kind of turned back downwind I didn't take advantage of them but one under through 11 and I think I'm getting you know there's less and less shots every time I go out where I'm hitting bad shots because I've gone through a bad process or I've thought poorly so it's all a it is all a process of practicing the things I've learned and it's getting better and I've still got the winter before the season comes to actually get ready for things and keep practicing those those sort of mental processes and I think if you can do that if you can go out and practice that when you play because you don't want to go and stand on the range in freezing cold windy windy conditions and it doesn't do you any good anyway but going out on the course and practicing your scoring capabilities little games on the course that we we've covered in other videos but also just get your mentality right for when it actually matters so yeah there we go we finished one under through 11. Uh, thanks everyone for subscribing if you could carry on doing it obviously you can't carry on doing that you can only subscribe once but if you haven't that would be lovely thanks for watching see you next tuesday